Good morning, good morning, darlings. How are you doing? Let's get into your daily tarot reading here about this person that is on your mind right now. It could be someone that's a romantic interest, potentially. It could be a platonic relationship, friendship, uh, family, darling, someone at the workplace. It could be uh, anything. It could be an ex-friend or an ex-relationship, darling. It's up for you to put up those labels. If you enjoy, do enjoy this tarot reading today, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe. I also upload weekly Zodiac readings, darling, so be sure to check those out as well but let's see what's going on with this between you and this person what are they to you and uh where is this where do i see this currently going in this direction here Ooh, darling 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 this feels like a connection where it's like very controlling all right very controlling and i feel like you guys are giving this person a wake-up call finally it feels like when it comes to the situation here like you always it's i'm getting being shown eggshells like you feel like you were always walking around eggshells catering to this person's likes and dislikes right it was like constantly every single day having to cater to them having to just work around them it's like they like everything that you did even the way that you spoke what you did darling they always have something to complain about is what i feel here all right so this is very interesting to me i feel as if for you guys you may not be communicating currently all right or you're just coming out of an argument or a discussion when it comes to this situation here because of this person i feel like for you you're kind of at this place when it comes to this person being like i don't know if you can do this anymore that's like what i hear you constantly saying is like i don't know if i can do this anymore it's like for many of you guys you might identify this as like um due to like how much you've taken on with this person or this could just easily be you like ignoring a bunch of red flags when it comes to this person but i'm assuming like you see some type of uh karmic relationship with them twin flame or something like that right there's something here that has kept you going when it came to the complications of this um situationship for you here i feel like you are giving them a wake-up call i feel like you've been starting to put your foot down when it comes to this person now where you're just like mm, no you're not treating me this way you're not speaking to me this way here and i feel like for them that's what's upsetting them all right i feel like for them like it's like by you finally putting up these boundaries they're almost trying to use like silence as a punishment towards you but the reality is the only person that's being punished in this situation is them because it's like it's like by them choosing to constantly be in and out of your life by constantly breadcrumbing you or just putting you through this like uh mental like obstacle this mental course here like you're starting to learn how to be without them it's like each time that they complicate things each fight after each fight you're just like you get more and more fatigue when it comes to this situation ship because you're just like you care about them so much but you're just at this point be like come on now like you can't do this anymore like you're at this point now where you are just fed up and being like you know what if you want to sabotage this relationship you know then it's like you no longer are going to cater to them anymore you're just like you know what if you want to do that darling there's the door let's evolve in this a little bit more so star card definitely some type of spiritual significance to you here all right again you probably associate them as a karmic relationship twin flame or soulmate uh connection here so you know you probably have constantly ignored the red flags with them but i actually enjoy this at least because it's like you know it's not just you choosing to ignore these red flags because you want, don't want to be alone you're choosing to ignore these red flags because for you you're just like no like there there's more substance here than what's on the surface level when it comes like with when it comes to your other friends and family around you you probably they probably don't understand like what you see in this person like it's, it feels like it only makes sense to you for why it is that you continue trying to w work it out when it comes to the situation ship no one else around you understands why it is that you're doing what it is that you're doing and so it's just yeah like only you see the value when it comes to this pro uh, situation here now you have the eight of pentacles as well as the page of curses coming in here and then we have here the what is this the nine of wands coming in here <sighs> 
I'm gonna be honest here, darling. This gives me a situation where it's like, by you guys, it's you. once they choose to like use their silence, use their absence as punishment towards y'all again, I feel like the best course of action for y'all is for you guys not to fight back anymore. It's like once they stop trying to text you, you stop trying anymore when it comes to them because you're just like, you know what? Like if it's this easy for you to stop talking to me, darling, you just won't engage with it anymore. I see for many of you guys, that's like the best wake up call that you give towards them here. It's like by you finally showing to them that you're going to stand firm in your boundaries, that's where they're just like, oh, wait a minute, the same games that they've been doing with you, they can't continue doing anymore. It doesn't work on you anymore. And then they realize that they can't go in these same patterns. By you choosing to take a stand, by you choosing to no longer give them the 30th chance by you choosing to finally hold them accountable that's where the growth starts happening here by you choosing to essentially give this person some tough love where you're just like you know what i'm not going to chase you anymore if you want so badly to leave this situation this relationship here let them I'll let you all right, I'm gonna let you. It's by you, by you uh, putting distance. That it's not you even putting distance because it's like they are constantly the one that keeps pushing you away one way or another. And if it's like it's not one thing, it's another. Like they always find something to have a problem with. And it's like the moment things do not go their way, they throw a temper tantrum, and it's like you're left to be the one to pick up the mess after the fact. You need to give him this tough love because like, otherwise they're just going to continue in the same pattern. Let's see how they feel when you give him that silence. I don't know if I said it before, by the way, but I'm using the Ali Man's Tarot for those that are curious as to why um, all the cards are so different from one another. Mm. Yeah. So I see for them, the moment you start giving them that absence, they it's going to be a little bit here, right? They're going to resist it. They're going to really try to push that boundary because, again, like I feel like they're so used to you um, being kind to them and like, you know, eventually just, you know, choosing to concede or choosing to just move on from where you placed your boundaries beforehand. Like by you choose no longer chasing after them they're gonna run a little bit of a distance all right they definitely are gonna run a little bit of a distance but they start like spiraling without you because you know on some level i feel like it's gonna bring out some type of tra trauma for them all right you choosing to uh be unreadable to them being more unpredictable because i feel like that's what the situation is like at this current point in time they see you as being predictable it's like they 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 it's like from their point of view it's very much so like kind of manipulative but i don't know if they intend on trying to be this manipulative but it's like they know what usually will work to hit your soft spot in your heart they know what will normally um get you to talk to them again or get you to chase after them again and so when you stop fighting for them when you stop chasing them when when they start running and they look behind them and they're just like wait a minute they're not chasing after me then it's like they're gonna run a little bit more and be like well, you're, are they gonna chase yet you know and they're gonna run a little bit more and they're gonna be completely alone completely lost and they're just like holy crap i messed up that's what i see happening here but it's really essential for you guys to kind of like gray rock them. It's really essential for you guys to not chase after this energy right now. All right. Because the only way that they're going to start valuing you, the only way that they're going to start treating you with the respect that you deserve is by you choosing to no longer chase after them. All right. Truly the like, and I feel like for many of you guys, your trauma response initially when it comes to this relationship, you're just like, no, I have to chase after them, Velka, because if I don't chase after them, they're going to self-sabotage, get themselves in trouble, and you feel as if you might lose them, all right? You're not going to lose them. You know, you're not going to lose them. It's this constant cat and mouse Tom and Jerry game. And you have to be the one to take power, take control of this relationship that you have going on here. And by you choosing to take back your power here, 
they start they start spiraling here they're just like how can i like what can i do to like save this here because it's like they go from one extreme to the other where it's just like because you stop chasing them they start freaking out they think they lost you for good and then they'll do anything to get you back that's what i feel like is happening it's like they'll probably come back to you and promise be like everything's gonna be different now this full energy it's like everything's gonna be different i promise i'm gonna change for you here right because and this kind of implies it's kind of like over the same things it's been over like the same issues right that's what i feel like it is it's like it's always like the same issues that they create it always stems to the same thing where it's like they might have trust issues i feel like it more so stems from their own personal insecurity due to how they end up reacting when you stop chasing them they have very much so like attachment issues or not attachment or abandonment issues i think i want to lean more so towards abandonment issues Mm -mm. yeah i see for you guys currently here mm -mm. yeah this is how you get the change to happen here and what ends up happening here is where once they reapproach you again you guys need to come at this point of being like kind of having them prove it to you that they are worth your time and energy anymore you need to change the narrative you need to change the power dynamic when it comes to this relationship if you want this relationship to can you continue working out all right i'm going off the presumption that you want this relationship to work out i don't include my own personal opinion on these things because personally i don't i don't like i feel like when it comes to relationships at least i'm not past the romantic level um i feel like friendships and all those types of relationships should be simple all right i feel like so i don't personally resonate with this in a way where it's just like chasing out drilling i am never if you want to sabotage and disconnect from a relationship i'm gonna be like bye i'm gonna block your number after i'm gonna lock the door after and you won't be able to get back in because i just don't play those games all right but it's easier for me to say it because i'm not emotionally attached to it darling right if you want to disconnect from it darling you know type in the comments below be like velka i am done i don't want to play these games anymore and trust and believe darling i'm gonna be the first one to be like I'm going to be the first one to be applauding you in that, darling. Trust and believe. All right. But it's definitely the sense of where you need to, they're going to, you need to keep this energy where it's like, they need to prove it to you about their value, what value they're going to bring in your life. Now they're going to have to prove it to you. Now they're going to have to swoon you over. All right. They're going to have to put in the work. I get like this message where it's like, put in the same work that they did at the beginning of y'all's connection here the house of god y'all might have bonded over i feel like for you guys y'all really bonded really quickly when you first connected with this person and that's why it's been like they've always hit like such a soft spot in your heart because it's like y'all might have like um what is it when you like connect to each other and relate to each other's traumas a lot uh trauma bond y'all might have trauma bonded big time when you first connected because i feel like y'all like really developed your relationship quickly and then after a certain point in time it's like they became addicted to your emotions that they would do anything possible to trigger um that's that emotion in you again so they get back to feeling chase and what have you again it's like and i don't like again like maybe it's just my optimistic way and i just cannot conceptualize people in uh, interacting in some other way but it's like for them like i don't know if they intentionally are coming at this from a place where it's just like wanting to manipulate you and this emo emotionally manipulate you but it's because they have like their abandonment or attachment issues they end up playing this cat and mouse game with you because it's like the emotion and like the feelings that uh they get from you during that experience is so addictive to them right and so for them they feel like that's the only way to get those that type of emo emotional satisfaction from you is through through those games all right and so you need to that's why you need to change the narrative because the, the right now for them this is like addictive to them all right it's very much so like a like your energy is very addictive to them and so while that's why i don't feel like it's like inherently something negative in a place where it's just like super shady i feel like it's just like when you you know how like an addiction well some of you might know how an addiction might start starts out as very um wholesome and then it gets to a point where it becomes unhealthy the first thing that comes to mind is like the um megan Fox. if you know pop culture honey if you know pop culture i think about this very much so in a way where it's like megan fox and machine gun kelly if you know that that couple darling if you don't research it, if you do research it because i feel like that's what this relationship really reminds me of is like a megan fox machine gun kelly obviously genders do not matter darling. look at me i don't care about genders but like that's what it is it started out as 
as like being like, oh, this is really cute. They just really like each other. Da, 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 da. And then it's always a some person like the addiction becomes too much where it's just like that's what they obsessively chase after forever after. Six of Wands coming in here, the Wild Hunt, as well as this Moon Energy. Y'all are getting so many Moon cards coming in, y'all's reading here. <sighs> Here's the thing. Y'all are going to see the light of, at the end of this tunnel, eventually. Eventually, y'all are going to see the light at the end of this tunnel here. But y'all are, it's almost necessary for you guys to really, like, this is going to be, I'm going to feel like this is going to last, like, the rest of this month. Or maybe, let's not put a timetable on it because Tara doesn't say time. But I feel like there's going to be, like, this period where you exude this tough love when it comes to this situation. So it's not going to feel like rainbows and sunshine and get all that emotional satisfaction. It's just like, no, this is the part in y'all's karmic relationship where it's like things are getting down and dirty. Whereas like this is where the real work begins here. This is where the real discomfort is. Enough of that honeymoon, like the honeymoon phase is over for you. Where it's just like, you know, we need to be about this work here. All right. And I feel like, I feel like if they choose to not you know because free will and all that darling i feel as if if this tough love experience doesn't break the two of you guys all right if you don't get too fed up from this connection here y'all i definitely see a lot of positivity here with the six of wands all right and so for many of you guys you might be at this point where you're just like velka i just don't want to play these games anymore with this person like you're tired like i get this general sense of just extreme fatigueness where you're just like you just want like a normal connection you just want to be able to interact with them all right you're tired of fighting like this invisible battle it's like you're tired of constantly it's like they constantly just complicate things here. They constantly find a way to self-sabotage. They constantly find a way to like, just to always create some type of stress or some type of drama here. But it's like, again, we get back into this queen energy where it's just like for you, it's like the moment you are just like, now wait, like you need to be like the adult in this situation and take back the power. And the moment you take back the power and start directing this relationship, all right? <laughs> that's where you will start being healthy here but it's like this person has to lose the sense of control of this relationship they have to realize and i again like i feel like for them it's like some type and it's not excusing them darling I, all right i'm not excusing them but it's just like because of like how addictive your energy is to them and the trauma that they have repressed inside of them from past relationships family and all that like you have to be the one to make the change in the dynamic of this relationship and it's not going to be like that forever like later on down the road things will just be like that will just be the norm but you have to be the one to really decide if this relationship is worth the work first and foremost because it's it's going to be i'm not sugarcoating this darling you have your work cut out for you all right so this relationship has to have you have to really care about this situation but once you get the tempo going with this once you once you kind of force the conversation with them because you might need to bring that awareness to them be like look i'm not gonna go anywhere stop always like assuming the worst when it comes to this relationship with you i'm not leaving you so stop doing all this it doesn't need to be this way and then that's like when they finally realize that i wake up to it honestly this person needs some therapy honey but once they wake up to that that's when that cycle will um finally end but you have like this person needs to really experience that tough love like you need to hold a mirror to their face here darling and be like look like this behavior is unattractive i don't talk to you because of this right like at the point this point like you have to make them realize like what like you need to make them realize like what they do to you by playing these games right you it's like you have to put this mirror in front of their face make them realize like where it is that they're messing up again they have to prove themselves to you they have to put in they have to be the one to start putting in this work here all right and so while for you guys it might be really hard for you initially to be like 
put that strong guard up. That's the best case course of action that you need to be taking here. And then once you do that, the tempo is going to just naturally develop in a beautiful way after that fact. But again, I'm not sugarcoating this. You have your work cut out for you. You have your work cut out for you. You have this temperance energy, the card of patience. This is one of those things where it's just like, <sighs> this person must mean a lot to you. All right. This person must mean a lot to you guys if for you guys to be willing to put in all this work here. It's the sense of where it's like, <sighs> You will not only will you, you like right now you might be sitting here and you're just like, well, Velka, like, what do I get out of this? Right. Why? Why should I put in all this effort? You know, it's like relationships, unfortunately, just are never going to always be 50 50. Sometimes someone else has to put in more of the work at some point. Like that's like when you love somebody, you don't think about it from a way where it's just like I only love you if you put in your share of the work. Right. You love them for who they are. And so while they are going to get this major lesson from you and addressing like their personal traumas that abandon like whatever what you're learning from this and what you're taking from this as well because you're benefiting from this as well is learning how to be more assertive taking more control of situations in your life here all right like you guys gain more from doing this than i think you realize again personal level i this is like i can't think of a single person in my life right now that i feel like this would be worth all this pain and effort there's one person in my life and i've she was my first friend she was my very first friend i ever made and still is my friend to this day darling all right and that's the only person that i would ever put that much effort into all right anyone else i'd be like girl bye all right so and this is not me telling you to put in this work all right darling you're an adult you can think for yourself here but i'm just assuming if you're consuming a tarot reading like this that you want to make this work out so i'm just simply the messenger darling all right but you gained stuff from this all right so don't feel as if like you gain nothing from this at all and because i do get the sense where you're just like well you know like why should you do you know but you're gaining your own personal like by you doing this you learn a lot for yourself and how you want to handle future relationships outside of this as well but um, darling, that's the tarot reading that I have for you, darling, for the person that's on your mind right now. All right. I wanted to do this during the morning because it's just like I feel like we're kind of just like having some morning tea, gossiping a little bit about what's going on in your life. I hope this gave you some clarity, darling. If it did, let me know in the comments below. What is this person to you, darling, if you want to spill your tea? All right. Um, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and check out your weekly zodiac reading darling remember if you want to book a private reading with me even talking about this darling uh further go to my website simplyvelka.com next to my social medias uh tiktok and instagram both also being simply velka but um yeah until next time darling i love you so much i'm gonna close this out so i can get this posted honey good luck